What's up guys, you Ottawa Scotty here. I'm just outside enjoying the sun right now. I want to share my understanding of how certain things work in this world. It's healthy to uh, ponder on some of these topics. Today's topic from you Ottawa Scotty is gonna be all about the sun. Uh, today's a beautiful sunny day. Just got back from the lake, riding some uh, greasy old 90s jet skis. I'm having a great day. I'm just loving the summertime and I'm feeling the sun's warmth on my skin. Actually, the sun has burned my skin. I'm perfectly okay with that too. But right now, there are a billion, billion nuclear explosions happening right now, right now. There's all kinds of crazy violence happening. Eight light minutes away, right here, traveling through the vacuum of space is all the energy from the sun and all of that radiant energy, radiation, just slams into the Earth's atmosphere and it warms our atmosphere, which creates all these complex weather patterns. It warms the Earth's surface. It evaporates moisture from the soils and the rivers and the, and, and the lakes and oceans, which creates more convection, which gets all the weather swirling all around. Wind, actually, wind energy, waves, all of that is actually energy from the sun. None of that would happen if it wasn't for the sun. So you tend to think of some of these different forms of energy as like independent from the sun. They're not. Actually, it all comes from the sun. You know, of course, we can harvest the sun's radiation directly through solar. Pretty much every other conceivable type of energy that we harvest and use that any animal on this planet uses, any plant on this planet uses, all comes back to the sun's energy. Plants and animals. Plants, you look at plants, what are plants? Plants are basically just like giant filters. They've got these leaves. Um, here's a bunch of beautiful hostas. Here's some nice flowers. Plants, what they do is they use the sun's energy in a process called photosynthesis. And I know you all heard that before in grade 10 science. Should have been paying attention. See, a plant's leaves is basically just like a giant filter. And it's uh, grabbing carbon dioxide out of the air. And it's breaking down the carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen. Oxygen is the is the plant's byproduct, which works out perfect because for you and I, we love our oxygen. As a matter of fact, without it, we would die. Thank you, plants. Thank you, trees. Maybe you can look at uh, trees a little bit differently now. They're basically like giant filters with all their leaves trying to get the maximum amount of surface area to harvest all the carbon dioxide out of the, out of the air, then using the sun's energy to break the carbon dioxide down into oxygen, and then they use the carbon to build their bodies, to build the leaves, the tree trunks, and, and, and shoots and stems and roots. All of that is made out of carbon. All the cells in plants are carbon-based. There's a lot of energy stored in, 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 that, in there. So actually when you have a fire, let's say when you burn firewood, when you burn wood, what you're actually doing is you're actually converting the carbon back to carbon dioxide and you're, a fire is actually the sun's energy as well. You're actually harvesting the sun's energy when you burn wood, which is a strange thing to think about, but you know, there's ener the precise reason why there's energy in wood is because the plants have used the sun to create the material that has a lot of energy. Pretty interesting. Let's talk about maybe fossil fuels. You know, I got a big, big old thirsty motorhome, which barely, barely hits the road now because uh, the nectar of the gods is very expensive now but anyways we love our fossil fuels coal and uh, all the hydro hydrocarbons that 
we use uh, many variants of all that stuff diesel uh, you got gasoline you got jet fuel kerosene uh, all these different variants of fossil fuels and what are fossil fuels they're basically just plants that have been crushed in the earth's crust and uh, somehow turned to coal and oil i have no idea how that actually happens but oil is basically ancient sun rays ancient sunlight that you're harvesting it's kind of like mind-blowing a little bit yeah so literally every form of energy on this planet comes from the sun you can thank everything that we have in the modern world can be basically um, courtesy of our sun so hopefully when you're on vacation this summer you're enjoying the sun or you're out somewhere you know and the sun is warming your skin and creating all that wonderful vitamin d that we missed out on through covid and uh lockdowns in the winter now i'm feeling so good now because i'm out in the sunlight and uh all thanks to the sun so that's my understanding of the sun that's how i look at it you know when i that's how i view how things work like in nature and i'm sure a lot of you have a ton to add to that and let's so let's get some uh, constructive comments happening here and maybe there will be a part two video to elaborate on some of these concepts but for the most part that's all i got to say about the sun and i hope you enjoyed that little conversation about the sun we're going to be having many little talks like that coming up here i hope you enjoy it you ottawa scotty out we'll see you next time <laughs>